Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller. Welcome to you to Six in the City. We got a full show. We a lot have of a things full happening. show. Lots of stuff lots to discuss. Stuff going on. Let's hear it. First off, we're going to be going to Union City to Discovery Park to talk with Claire okay. Sum. She's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on there. And then Whitney Owen with the Jackson Animal Care Center is with us. I'm sure mm -hmm. she'll have I a hear fur her baby coming. with yeah. her. Yeah, kind of here in, in here the background. Already, yeah, yeah. a couple of events that they're going to have going on to raise money. Gwen McReynolds is here. She's with the Jackson Madison chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. The Field of Flags dedication ceremony is coming up Saturday, the okay. 15th of June. That is this Saturday, so right. we'll find out more about that. Sabrina Blue Parker is here. She's president of the board of Helping Hands of West Tennessee. They're partnering with the SBA to bring a small business expo to Jackson. We'll right. find out what's we'll going on, how you can get tickets, expo. or if you need tickets. Right. Tate Cronin is here. He is with UTIA Marketing and Communications. Garden Buzz, the celebration of pollinators is an event mm -hmm. that's coming, one of the events that's coming one up of, at the UT Garden events, Center yeah. here in Jackson. So we'll discuss a lot of things that are going to be happening there. Ginger Rousey is going to be with us. She's with the Jackson Madison County Health yeah. Department. They have incentives to help uh, pregnant women quit smoking. Quit smoking. So yeah. what, a, what a great Young opportunity. Right. And of course. And we're on the main stage. They were Scott Meyer and Rita Mac. I know. We're, they're live, yeah, so we, it's going to be great. We have live the music today. Already that's coming up in the month of August. That's so right. Things. So we're going to get into all of that and more on this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Ball Medical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, and any way you can imagine. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This I is good, that. and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Welcome back to Six in the City. We start by going to Union City, That's Tennessee, right. Discovery Park of America. And Claire Somm is with us. Claire, how are you doing this day? Hello, I'm wonderful. How are y'all? All right, good. Well, it's good to have you with us. And we got a lot of exciting things going on. The Rhythm of the Rails has launched. And we're, what, two or three concerts in already? Or maybe We are. More. We are. We're halfway through. Halfway. halfway through this okay. Okay, hard to believe. Yeah, we're halfway through the month of June now. <laughs> I know. That's quite, quite shocking, isn't it? So who's coming up? So this Friday night um, is Sean Gassaway opening up for the Shotgun Billies. Um, and uh, music will kick off at 6 p.m. on Friday. And it's on the grounds on the Total Tech Solutions stage at Discovery Park. And it's, it's going to be a great, great show. show. Just, just I mean, every Friday night, it just keeps getting better. better. So I, I, I strongly suggest you to come out, bring a lawn chair, bring, bring a blanket. blanket. We've got, got great, great food, food, beverages, great music. All right. Now the, the doors, doors open, open, gates open. open. Five o'clock right for you to get in. Correct. Okay, okay for, for, the for the six o'clock show. show. Where, Where do you park? People that are not familiar, when they get to the park, what do they do? So when you pull into the main entrance, you'll make a left. Um... And, and then, then you'll, we, we have, have a lower parking, parking lot that's closest. If you get, get here early, you'll be able to get uh, front, front row parking, so to speak. Um, and, and then, of course, it gets, gets more crowded as the night goes on. We have plenty of parking in the main parking lot in front of Discovery, Discovery Center. Center. All right. And, and the no admission, admission charge for that, right? right? Correct. Is it a free, free summer, summer concert, concert series thanks to our partners, which is Tennessee Art Commission, Blue Bank Resort, the Tennessee Citizens Bank, and, of course, Total Tech Solutions Stage. Tell us about this group. 
uh, uh, Shotgun Billies. So um, they, they are out of Memphis, I believe. And then, and then Sean Gasway, who's opening up for him, is out of Nashville. So we've got people coming from all over the state, okay. both very, very talented. Uh, Shotgun, Shotgun Billies is going to play everything from blues to classic rock. And, and I really think they're going to have some great covers. Um, and then Sean Gasway, he is um, a television personality along with, with a performer, and, and his, his, his stage, stage name, name is Bacon. Bacon. Yeah. Bacon. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It sounds like it's going to be well, a fun night. Well, we got Jimmy night. Rolls and everything else I know, now right. in, in music. That's so right. I guess, I guess Why Bacon not have Bacon? Is, <laughs> why not have Bacon, right? That's exactly right. That's what right. else is going on at the park there, Claire? Uh, we've got an exciting rest of the summer. We're um, going to kick off um, another 4th of July, and we're actually doing it on the 4th this year. So Thursday, July 4th, we're going to have an Independence Day celebration um, we're going to really celebrate the independence, independence of America for all you history lovers. If, you, if, if you're, you're looking for an educational, an educational experience to bring your children for Independence Day, instead, instead of just going somewhere to watch fireworks, fireworks check, check out Discovery Park. Park. And, and um, I, I think, think that you'll really enjoy the educational, educational aspects, aspects that we're going to have on that day. day. We're going to read, read the Declaration of Independence. We're going to ring the Liberty Bell, Bell um, which we have one of the few in the nation, a replica of the actual Liberty Bell that will be rung. It's only rung once a year. In, in conjunction, conjunction with, with the National Ring of the Bell Ceremony. ceremony. So, so a really, really cool experience. experience. Lot, we're doing a Boston, Boston Tea Party reenactment, a patriotic sing-along. A lot of cool things going on, on that day. So, so I uh, strongly suggest if you've got children, children it's, it's a great, great family-friendly family activity. activity. Um, and, and then, of course, course moving into September, September, we have, we have Discovery, Discovery Parks, Discovery Dash, which is this 5K, 10K, and one-mile fun run on September 14th. September 14th, and how, how, how do people, people register, register for that, Claire? If you, if you go, go to slash discovery dash, you'll find it there, and you'll find the registration. It's also on our Facebook page. Gotcha. gotcha. Claire, back to the 4th of July for, for a moment. What time should people get there? How, what, what time will it open, and will these activities be going on all throughout the day? Sure, sure. So, so a lot, a lot of, the of the activities are going on throughout the day. You can find the full schedule of events on our calendar page, okay. go to discoveryparkofamerica.com slash independence day. You'll find the full schedule of events. Um, there's things going on from 10 to 5 p.m. Okay. And Claire, can you get tickets um, online for the park? So, yes, you can purchase, say, 15% if you purchase your tickets ahead of time online. And um, independence day is included with uh, general admission or membership. Awesome. Yeah, Discoveryparkcom right? That's right. It's where you can find everything. Awesome. Uh, the Rhythm on the Rails will continue how long? Rhythm on the Rails will go through June 28th. Okay. June 28th. So, June 28th. so almost. Almost wrapped up. Almost wrapped up. It believe. just seems like it started. It started, so. yeah. Well, I, guess I know. I know. Yeah. It's always a, a busy season. It Claire, is. it's always good to visit yes. you. We appreciate always it so good much. To see you. Discoveryparkofamerica.com, and we will see you in, in Union, Union City. That's right. We'll see, see you there soon. soon. Thanks, Thanks, Claire. Thanks, Claire. Bye, guys. Bye. When we come back, what we're going to be talking, we're going to we'll talk about talking some other things. We're talking about Whitney Owens, and we don't know who. I a know. surprise guest. It's a surprise guest. Is you never on the know. way on this Six, Six in the, the City. City. I'm Dr. Keith H. Taylor, owner and CEO of the Mid-South Dental Implant and Oral Surgery Center. Our clinic is unique because it offers oral surgery suites, general dentistry suites, as well as a fully run operating room. E Plus Broadband has never let me down. The reps that actually gave me their personal phone numbers, that they definitely were compassionate. They knew that some of the technical terms they were using I couldn't understand, and they broke them down to me. And I, I thought this went a long way. Thank you, E Plus Broadband. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. For nine years, the READ team has helped over 2,200 second graders read better through coaching and friendships. Students have increased their word recognition by as much as 300%. Reading on grade level opens the door for Google searches, driver's licenses, and career opportunities. Invest one hour a week to give our second graders every chance to read on grade level. Go to thereadteam.org to sign up. The READ team, changing our community one word at a time. In partnership with JMCSS, Leaders Education Foundation, and United Way of West Tennessee. But you already knew that because you can read.
new, right? Welcome back to Six in the City. So we go from Discovery Park right back home. That's to right. The, to the, the Jackson, animal, animal Care Center. Care Center right here in Jackson, Tennessee. Whitney Owens with us. Always has a special guest. Our special guest last month got adopted. He did. He got okay. adopted earlier this week. Okay, fantastic. Good for him. Got so him a home. It, well, so we have somebody new looking for a home. We do. This is Charlie Angel. He is a 10-week-old muddy of mutts. Muddy <laughs> okay. of mutts. We, uh, the previous owner told us that she thinks they might be feist and maybe some pit bull and then neighboring wandering salesmen. Uh, <laughs> the milkman. Yep, not 100% <laughs> sure. Um, mm -hmm. All of his sisters have been adopted. He's the only one left. Okay. And okay. Uh, he's about 10 weeks old. Super sweet. Loves everybody. Um, kids, cats, other dogs, all of the things. Does okay. well with other animals. And, uh, okay. He does. And he is one of those. He very much appreciates lap snuggles. Uh-huh. Um, and the ladies. Oh, he, uh, he's a lady. Man, yeah, I told him we were coming to see you, and he insisted that I let him wear cologne, so he smells lovely. Uh huh. Uh, that's purely for your benefit. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, thanks, Charlie. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he's great. He um, he's just getting to that age where he's going to be super easy to train. I um, he's going to be old enough to hold it for potty training and yeah. things okay. like yeah. that. And uh, so he's, he's is he good great trained age. already or no? He's working on it. Working we're, on we're not okay. there yet. Say so we're only a couple of months old, so our little bladder just can't keep up with a whole work day. Whole work but day. Gotcha. We're, we're getting there. Uh, but yeah, he loves everybody. He, so he, you estimate he will grow to be what size? He's going to be medium size, 40, 45 pounds, okay. based on current size and age. Okay, all right. Yeah, but he's super sweet. He's very, um, he's very good. He uh, he sings the "I Am All Alone" song at the yeah. shelter because all of his siblings are gone. Oh, he's the only one left. He does so. the "Woe Is Me," exactly. have pity on me, okay. come get mm -hmm. me. Yep. He's got little white eyelashes. He does. He has little white eyelashes, <laughs> and he looks like he's wearing eyeliner. He, he does. has the black right around his eyes. He's very he's cute. So you guys got a, an event coming up, right? We do. Or a couple we, of events, I guess. Actually, a couple of events. Yeah, we've, we're doing um, the Jackson Rockabillies invited us to be there Wednesday night. Uh, game theme, basically. So we're doing tail wagging Wednesday at the ballpark with the Jackson Rockabillies tomorrow this, night. Oh, oh, just tomorrow night. Not every Wednesday, no, but just, just tomorrow night. Just tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, the, tw the 12th. Mm -hmm. June 12th. And Well, yes, the 12th. I was like, wait a second, that is Wednesday, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah today's Tuesday. Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, tomorrow night, the 12th. Um, they're doing a tailgate party prior to the game. And then the game starts at 7, of course. And your furry four-legged friends are welcome to attend the game as well. Oh, okay. Right. okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's basically their version of Bark in the Park. Oh, so gotcha. So it's uh, family-friendly, okay. two- or four-legged. And uh, so we're going to have several of our available uh, animals out there for adoption and have a booth set up. Uh, if anybody's been wanting to get a voucher to get their pet spayed or neutered, they're welcome to stop by and see me. I will okay. have them with me on Vouch hand okay. to, uh, to give out. And uh, Anything yeah, so special they have to do to get the voucher, Whitney? You have to be a resident of Madison County. And that's it. Yep. All yeah. right. Now we we do keep our money local. Right. Right. Um, so it has to be used at a vet in Madison County. But yeah. The only the only prereq is that you live here in Madison County. Awesome. Yep. That's going to be interesting. All those dogs at the ballpark. Right. <laughs> How many are going to try to go chase a ball? We're excited about <laughs> it. And then our other event that we've got is uh, we have Pets Rock Fest. Oh yeah. For okay. the third year. Uh, the Jackson Fairgrounds. That's going to be July the 27th. So we're super excited about that. That's an all day event. And uh, you know we have Doc Dog coming right. back. Um, that's you know. Premier always, canine aquatics. Always yeah. fun to see. Uh, and what a lot of people have not realized yet is if you don't have to be a professional. You can sign your dog up no matter what okay. they are. And no, you don't have to have a pedigree or, you know, previous training. Yeah. Um, our favorite attendee every year is a uh, is a Mastiff. Oh, is oh my. St <laughs> Studly Dudley. <laughs> Studly Dudley. And, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, Mastiffs don't float. So I did not. I, they're awfully big, so I would assume that his, they didn't. His float. mom brings him in his life jacket. Okay. And he does not so much dive off the dock as he kerplunks uh -huh. off okay. the dock, um, and so he, then he doesn't care about retrieving. He anything. would be in the biggest splash contest yes, versus and would the win. retriever contest. Yes. Okay. And uh, he just wants to paddle around in circles and, and cool off. But he is the highlight of the day for most people. <laughs> okay. And um, we don't need tickets for the event, right? We can pay at the gate. Yes, correct. Okay. And it's uh, ten dollars for adults. Kids okay. twelve and under are free. And we've got like five or six different food trucks going to be there. We've got ice cream for you and your dogs. We've got like 70 different vendors that are going to be there selling anything and everything you can imagine pet related. Okay. Uh, water slides for the kids. Um, if you like me, come support us and drop me in the Duncan booth. If uh -huh. you don't like me, come dunk me anyway. Yeah, that's right. Um, come support so, us exactly. still, right? <laughs> you, you can watch me almost drown in dirty ice cold water. Uh, hey, what else? So once again, that's, that's the 27th, 27th of June. July the 27th. July 27th. July 27th. July 27th. July 27th. July 27th is from 10 to 4. 10 to 4. At, at the, the Jackson Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds. Okay. Yes, sir. So if you get your dog started now, maybe it won't embarrass you when it comes to Doc Dog. You 
know, or they can, can embarrass you, know. you and I can laugh and it'll still be a great that's time. True. Either way. That's true. All um, proceeds we're gonna go have a, to a great cause. So. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have a bunch of animals out there available for adoption. We've got okay. rescues coming out. We've got microchipping. So it's going to be a good event. Right. Awesome. We got one last look at Charlie Angel that's there. Right, so he's Charlie. looking for a home, Charlie. You've been so good today. He's yeah. such a goodest yeah, boy. Yeah, he has been. Wow. What do you mean? We're always so good to see you. It, always, it, right. it is. So glad you bring them. We're going to the main stage. We are always delighted to work with these folks. We welcome back Scott Myatt and Rita Mack. From time to time, life may throw us a curveball. Even with the best of efforts, maintaining the essentials like utilities can be difficult. With Utilicare, you can make a donation to help provide utility assistance to families right here in Jackson. Your contribution makes a difference for those families struggling to pay utility bills. Go online to learn more or donate. jacksenergy.com forward slash Utilicare. The Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation every two years does an unannounced on-site review to evaluate every facet of a water system. 
Inspection includes real-time water sampling, records reviews, personnel training, certification, and more. A perfect score is $5.99. For the third consecutive inspection covering the last six years, the Jackson Energy Authority Water System achieved a perfect score. $5.99, 100%, three consecutive times. That seldom happens, but it happened now at JA Today. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Six in the City. We'll be hearing more from Rita, Rita Mack, Mack, Scott Mott. Right. So good to have them back with it's us. It's always good to have them. Gwen McReynolds is with us. She's with Daughters of the American Revolution. This is a special week. It's Flag Day coming up Friday and Saturday, a special dedication all at at Liberty, Liberty Park, Garden Liberty Park. Garden. And so when, what's happening here? A combination effort with the American Legion and with the DAR? Well, actually, it's just two separate events. Okay. But I just happen to know the American Legion has <laughs> okay. lined, American Legion Post 12 has lined the walkway. The Daughters of the American Legion are in the field in front of the Veterans Memorial. Okay. And uh, we have... So two dedications Two, two different dedications, both at 10 o'clock. One 10 o'clock Friday is American Legion. DAR is 10 o'clock Saturday. Saturday. And the uh, exciting thing about the DARs is we read all the names of the patriots on the field. And for anyone who has not been, we have 200, this year, 204 flags. I was going to ask you how many there were because there's a lot of flags out there. That are dedicated to Revolutionary War patriots. And those are men or women who served either in the military, in the civil service, or in patriotic service. That's okay. like you gave beef, some gave whiskey, okay. <laughs> uh, different things that they gave. And we have six female patriots oh, on the wow. field this year. Okay. Um, we have a patriot from every one of the colonies, plus Vermont. The, uh, there's a little plaque right. at the base of each flag that tells you the name of the person in the colony. We have an African-American from Vermont on the field. Uh, this year, we are adding, we have added Bernard, Bernardo Galvez, de Galvez. He was the Spanish governor of Louisiana. And I knew nothing about him until just we put the flag up. He actually kept the port of New Orleans open to only the French, the Spanish, and the Americans. Oh, wow. Would not allow any English ships through. Oh, wow. He won uh, several battles, including the Battle of Natchez, and his descendant, I mean, well, he is a recognized patriot, and the people who fought with him are eligible for DAR membership. And the other is, of course, somebody everybody knows, the Marquis de Lafayette, and we are honoring him because in 1824 and 1825, he made his two, uh, 200 years now, but made a trip to his farewell tour to America. Oh, wow. And he was the last surviving Major General. Oh, wow. What's interesting is he named his first son George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he laid the cornerstone for the monument that still stands at Bunker Hill. Oh, he wow. He laid that in 1825. 1824 during that tour. 1825 during 25. the tour. Wow. So we have those. We want. It. We have 27 Madison County Patriots also. They're in the front in a semicircle. Everybody else is in alphabetical order. I okay. didn't do a good job of getting the Madison County Patriots laid out this year in alphabetical order. So just circle till just you circle find them. around, right? But it is a semicircle at the front, and bring children. Yes. Bring yourself. Come walk through the park. Read the names of these people and the colonies to keep fresh. Yeah. Who? Why we're here? Why we're here? Right? Why, why we here. have the freedoms that we do? We so. do, and. The flags will fly until probably 7.30 July the 6th. So okay. you can celebrate for the 4th of Plenty July. Plenty of time. Wedding photos. It's great. It, uh, 
It's just on gorgeous. Your, on your morning run photos? Yes, she just made a morning <laughs> run, show me her photo of the morning run. But it run. was so perfect this morning because the wind was blowing just enough and all the flags were just, what, it was just, you really need to get out there and see it because it's really, it's really well, a, one of the exciting amazing things site. when we finished putting them out Saturday. Uh, and we did have help from the Sons of the American Revolution okay. to put the flags out this year. Of course, the DAR, our conscripted husbands, my grandson. <laughs> and we had two lovely men who were just walking in the park, and he came. they came and helped. Okay. Oh, nice. How so nice. dedication with the DAR is this coming Saturday. Saturday, That'll be the 15th. 10 It'll be at 10 o'clock. Then there'll be one the day prior on Flag Day with the American Legion. Right. At 10 o'clock as, as well. Those are all at Liberty Garden. All at Liberty, and we want to thank the Liberty Gardens uh, Conservatory Board right. for giving us permission okay. right. to have this new home. Okay. Well, it's right. wonderful. Appreciate. Get out and see it. Appreciate it. Appreciate yes. all thank, your work. Thanks so yeah, much. Thank good, you. good insights into our, so our good history. To see special you. thing this week with Flag Day and That's with right. the dedication coming up Saturday. We're going back to the main stage. We welcome once again Rita Mack and Scott Meyer. You know, I busted many a Bronco in my day, but I sure would like to drive one. Well, Padna, here's your chance. Just mosey on over to Lifeline Blood Services or donate at a mobile blood drive near you, now through Labor Day. And enter for your chance to lasso a 2022 Bronco Sport from Joe Mahan Ford in Paris. Giving blood saves lives. And Joe Mahan and Lifeline are giving you a chance to win a Ford Bronco, now through Labor Day. 
Every three years, the American Public Power Association recognizes public power companies that demonstrate proficiency and reliability, workforce development, safety, and system improvement. The recognition, RP3. The highest level RP3 is the Diamond RP3. In 2023, JA's Electric Division received the Diamond RP3 Award for the eighth consecutive time. This never happened before, but it's JEA today. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Oh, Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Welcome back to wow. Six in the City. We'll have more with Scott Meyer and Rita Mack yeah. coming up later in this program. They always have a way of just mellowing us out Every, uh, when, they, when they come in, when they and sing. Scott's got to where he can stretch those fingers down and just make know. all kinds of I know. fine he, notes and everything else. They make a great team. Sabrina Blue Parker is with us, and we're here to talk about a special business expo, the West Tennessee Small Business Expo 2024 that is coming to the city. It'll be Wednesday, June, June the 26th. 26th. It'll be from 9.30 a.m. till 2 p.m where the NAACP offices are located at 118 North Church Street in the city. And this is a free event. It's a free event. Right, but you do it. need to register, though, right? Yes. Because there is food for lunch, There right? is food for lunch, for lunch okay. um, but it's only for people who just go ahead and pre-register. Right, okay. and pre-register where? They can go to Eventbrite. So it's the Jackson Small Business Expo. Okay. Eventbrite. Dot com okay. and that way or they can google it from the eventbrite, eventbrite but that way they can go ahead and get registered so they'll be able to have the free launch it says okay. ignite your business potential so what yes. are you looking to do here? we're looking to just educate people about all the resources um, as i navigated as the leadership council for congressional district 8 under the national small business association i had a hard time myself of finding out where all the resources for for-profit entities and so through that research, I ended up having a great partnership with the SBA, and I have volunteered to help be the event planner, yeah. of course. Yeah. And um, so being as such, you know, we wanted to put together, like, where are all the resources where people can tap in directly to the state and federal resources? So whether that be I want to learn how, as a contractor, I can get a contract with the city, the county, the state, or the federal government, we have those entities there with the state and the federal government to be able to provide help navigating those resources or any of those grant and funding opportunities. Or someone may be just wanting to start a business mm -hmm. and just struggling yeah. uh, to get it going. Not know where to go or exactly. what to do. Exactly. And, and there's a lot of free resources from either the state or federal government. And so we have brought all of them to the table. I mean, it is a plethora of resources that will be shared from, again, getting the contracts, getting bidding, what it looks like, how to navigate it. And so every point of contact that someone may need to either expand their business or launch their business will be there. So who do you want, who all do you want to attend this event, Sabrina? Who's we want intended? anyone that, uh, someone in college now, maybe they're having a little startup, maybe they're struggling with their business. Maybe someone who thought about, you know, well, I got this great barbecue at my restaurant and I don't know how to get it into the grocery stores. Or I'm a contractor, I'm an HVAC contractor or an electrician or what have you. And I want to know how can I get a part of these big government contracts that I see these other entities doing. Okay. Or maybe I need staffing. Okay. Are there any grant funds to help me expand my company operations? Uh, and the answer is yes to all of those things. Okay. And so all of those entities will be there. Or it could be someone that owns a business that's having trouble with taxes. Uh, we even got the RS representative there. So we really tried to really think of a robust way to really help people unlock those doors that are hindering so many mm -hmm. people back. Or and some, so some we hesitations that they may have, and this is an opportunity. It doesn't cost them anything. Exactly. All they have to do is register and show up. Exactly. A consultant costs about, you know, 5000 to to $100,000. Yes. Right. So in order to get all this for free, I mean, why not? And yeah. so a lot of people have asked me, especially knowing what I'm doing now as a volunteer, Sabrina, how can you help? And so this is our way of helping 
making it very easy. Like Tennessee Score, they'll spend an hour just with people who are wanting to start a business on navigating all those processes. So that's what we want to do. We want to make it easy for people to be successful. And uh, so that's the whole purpose of, of this event. Oh, wow. And do you guys have a Facebook page that people could go to to get information? The SBA does. And S so oh, even right. even oh, yeah. the S since this is a SBA sponsored event, um, they have put it on their website as well. So you can, small business association. The small right. business administration. So you can find it from there okay. on, on their website. Okay. So I don't have it a dedicated website mm -hmm. for the for particular the event. event. Yeah. Okay. But we can say that we'll host this event at least twice a year. Okay. So this is our launch to start sure. it off. All right. And um, so again, it, the flyer is on the Eventbrite as well. But uh, if someone's navigating for those government contracts, looking for every single possible resource, um, it is this all is going the to be there. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are held back because they're just scared, uh, and it's challenging navigating right. through. Or they may need some data okay. to help them make their business plan right. more robust. Okay. Right, right. So, so all in, of that would be there. In business or contemplating going in business? Yes. Or just curious. And curious? the people that show up at the event. In business, event, it didn't work, and I'm going to try it again. <laughs> that's right. right. That's right. That's, that's exactly right. right. That's right. It's the, the, it's the West Tennessee Small, Small business, business Expo, Expo. 2024. June 26, 9.30 to 2 at 118 North Church Street, right on the corner there where the NAACP offices are located. And there's no fee, just register in advance with Eventbrite. That is exactly right. very good it to see you. Very good, good to, to have you, Sabrina. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so Thank much. You. We're going to talk about pollinators next. Yes, we are. The buzz. That, that and more Look, coming up as we continue. Six in the city. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill balance, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage, text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248, 53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. At Southern Family Dentistry, we offer dental treatment for your entire family. We have the latest 3D digital x-ray system. We offer implants, veneers, teeth whitening, and all the other normal services you receive at the dental office. We have two offices, one in Milan and one in Jackson, and e broadband telephone services allows us to connect both of those offices. It doesn't matter which office the patient calls, we have the ability to speak to that patient at either location. Talk about the buzz. That's coming See, up next week. See, last week it was butts. Yeah, this, this week, week it's is buzz. 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 <laughs> so it, we'll get to that. That's one week from the. We're doing the show on the 11th, and so the 18th we're going to. But 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 this this week, Tay Cronin is with us from the UT Center for Research, Ag Research and Education on Airways, and works with the UT system. But we got an event coming up tomorrow. On yes, the 12th. We have, okay. we have our perennial and flowering shrub sale. It's going to be tomorrow from 11 to 1. Uh, at UT Gardens in Jackson. It's located at the West Tennessee Ag Research Center on the same property. Okay. Uh, UT Gardens is actually um, our state botanical garden. There's three locations, one here in Jackson, one in Crossville, one in Knoxville. So this is just a plant sale. It's an opportunity for us to just sell some plants that we know are gonna do well in our area. They're tried and true, as we like to call it. Okay. Many of them were trialed at the gardens. So this sale's from 11 to 1. It's free to attend. You can come out, bring the family, shop some great plants, and take some home. Okay. And if you have questions about those plants, there'll be professionals there to, to help answer those questions, right? Absolutely. We'll have horticulturists there, as well as Madison County Master Gardeners. Okay. They'll be able to help answer any questions you have, make recommendations. So whether you, you know what you're looking for, you're just getting into maybe doing a garden, this is a great opportunity. Okay. And they'll, they'll be set up where? Uh, it'll be located uh, at UT Gardens in Jackson at 605 Airways oh, Boulevard. Oh, right. Is it outside or inside? Uh, yes, it'll outside. be outside, outside in the back parking okay. lot. Okay. In, the in the back, back parking, parking lot. lot. Okay. Absolutely. So that, that's on the 12th of this, this month. You may be watching this later on the week. That's right. So we're going to go to the buzz. It's coming up Monday the 18th, and uh, it's a noon to 1 event. 
Yes, it is. It's, it's about actually pollinators. Uh, Tuesday the 18th. Tuesday, I Tuesday the 18th. 18th. Yes, Tuesday. Right. Tuesday. So a week from oh, today. Sorry, guys, this is Tuesday. Yeah, we're in Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, Steve. I know. I, this whole week and whole month is just whole flying month. by. Whole month. I know. Absolutely. Yeah, it's from right, noon. So, so what's going to be going on? Yeah, it's going to be from noon to one. This is really a, a family focused um, day. You know, a lot of schools, they've already been out for a few weeks. So if, you know, the kids are restless and you're looking for something fun to do that's free, fun, educational. Um, Garden Buzz, the celebration of pollinators. This is our second year for hosting the event. Um, it's really just an opportunity to educate the public on the importance of pollinating insects, as well as just share information about horticulture and how to get started. So there'll be educational booths set up, Madison County Master Gardeners, the Jackson Area Beekeepers Association. Okay. But there'll be different activities like arts and crafts for kids, honey tasting. And at 1230, there will be a garden tour. So you'll get to see UT Gardens Jackson, some of the okay. research trials that are going on, and just learn a little bit about how to get started um, growing flowering plants to help benefit these insects. And is this an event, a free event as well? Absolutely. All of our events uh, this month are going to be completely free. Nice. No registration is required. You can just show up. There was real concern about honeybees and pollinators at one time. Are we doing better? I mean, is it stabilized out there? Well, I think so. You know, it's always just an ongoing concern because they're really important to our world. I mean, we only have one world. We have to protect it. And it's really up to us as individuals, not just the organizations, yeah. us as individuals to take action to help protect these insects. Tuesday the 18th from noon to 1, noon to one. 605 Airways Boulevard. And then you've got another event. We do. That following Thursday, June 20th, we have the weed tour. That is aimed a little bit more at agricultural producers. It's an opportunity to learn about common row crop weeds and like the threat that they pose and some solutions to controlling them. You know, it's an ongoing struggle making sure that the pesticides and the solutions mm -hmm. that we have, making sure they're still effective. You can receive the information on the latest research base um, results and trials that take place at the center. So if you're a producer and you're wanting to really make sure you have a good harvest and a good year, this is the perfect event to come out, receive that information, talk with specialists, and learn a little bit more. So and that is when again? Uh, Thursday. It'll be June 20th. 20th. Uh, at 8.30 to about 11.30. It'll be a, a light breakfast served that morning. But it'll okay. be in the field. You get to see the research okay, plots. Okay, so you'll actually be in yeah, the field. Absolutely. Nice. Okay. One other event, and it will, <coughs> we do summer celebration every other year, and this year is Mile and No-Till Field Day. That's it's coming up in July. Right? Yeah, summer celebration of Mile and No-Till used to be every year. Now mm -hmm. they alternate. alternate. Right. So this is Mile and No-Till. This is the year for that. It'll be July 25th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. That'll be at the Mile and Ag Research okay. and Education Center. To keep up with these events or find out about your schedule, how, how can people do that? Yeah, you can go to our website, our UTIA website, and see um, all of the events. We put out a field day list um, that has all of the events across the state aimed at both homeowners as well as agricultural producers. Awesome. Plant sale the 12th. Buzz. The pollinators. Garden Buzz, the celebration 18th. of pollinators on the 18th. And then the weeds on the 20th. That's we'll correct. From there. It's good to see you. It is good, good to, to have you today. We're going back to the main stage. We welcome <laughs> once again, this is Scott Myatt and Rita Mack.
Hi, I'm here to ask the people of Jackson to be a part of a groundbreaking program, Four Minute City. Every minute you don't get help after a sudden cardiac arrest, your chance of survival decreases by 10%. That's why Friends of Heart and the Jackson Fire Department have created a care team. A group of everyday citizens trained, equipped, and ready to save lives in our community. Please call this number or visit our website. Together, we can save lives. Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E-Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Talk health for a moment. Jackson right. Massa County Regional Health Department. Ginger Rousey is with us. A new initiative here about women and smoking. So mm -hmm. what's caused this? Here? Well, we have our GIFTS program. And GIFTS is an acronym. It stands for Growing Inside Free of Tobacco and Smoking. And it's a program for pregnant and postpartum women that is going to encourage them to quit smoking, quit tobacco, and stay tobacco free. Okay. And so... Uh, Pregnant women, and again, postpartum women, the six to eight weeks after, after birth, are eligible. You come, you get some counseling, you attend some, some counseling sessions, and then following that, you take a smoking breath test once a month for up to 12 months, and for every, free, every test that you test smoke-free, you'll receive a $25 voucher. Oh, wow. So it's, it's a way that we can hopefully incentivize women to, to quit smoking during pregnancy, during pregnancy. and to also stay quit after Con their baby Continue is born. That's right. after the baby Because born, what yeah. we see sometimes is that most women do stop smoking during pregnancy, but during that postpartum effect. period, right. those rates start to go back up. Right, right. Uh, so we want them to continue to be smoke-free because secondhand smoke does have a devastating effect on children. So th that's what the program is for. This is sponsored by the state, and it's, it's been in effect, but it's now available here in our county. Okay. okay. So that's why we want to so get that new out to New to our county. New to our county. So that's how right. do you link up with this? Or sure. Well, your, your physician, your OBGYN, can refer you to us, or you can do a self-referral. Okay. Um, it's it's not income-based, so so anybody can participate. And and the great thing about it is going to be the education counseling sessions that you attend, and then just that that monthly check-in to check keep you honest. Yeah. Right, okay. right, right. And now, does it cost anything? For no, it's a free program. A free program. It's a free program. Okay. Well, it's a great opportunity. It is know? a good opportunity for those that are that maybe want to quit, but that are struggling, because I, I, right. I... So is this going to be ongoing, or... It will it... be an ongoing thing, yes, it okay. is. It's going to be ongoing. And that's, a, you know, if you find out you're having a baby, and 
you're no. a smoker, no. you want to quit, right. but maybe you need some help. So this right. is going to be a good opportunity for you to just give you an extra push, give you some someone who can help you stay accountable. As say, you it has try that to accountability mm -hmm. too, and that that's that's definitely helps. Yes, and and the financial incentive <laughs> is small, but it it could make a difference too, and and maybe just a little bit to kind of that's entice right. people to to do this. That's right. I was thinking decade, decades ago, when everybody smoked, <coughs> going in, <coughs> going to have a baby. Mm -hmm. yep. The lady at the reception signing everything up. She said, you can smoke if, if you need to. I said, no, I quit. She said, you picked a bad time to quit. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you started before the baby yeah. does. Right. Right. You're, not, exactly. you're, not, right. you're not tempted after the yeah. baby gets so, here. But, but, but the whole vaping, world has changed yes. in, in, and in four decades. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, and vaping is sort of the big thing now, or right. e-cigarettes, and that this counts too. So if you okay. want to quit your e-cigarette. Okay. We, have, we have not as much data as we do on conventional cigarettes. Right. Of course, we've been having, studying that for years and years no. and years. But nicotine is nicotine. But nicotine yeah. is nicotine. That's right. And, and both e-cigarettes still contain yeah. that nicotine and still have those adverse effects. So, right. so when someone signs up for this, so what is the step one? I step think. one is signing up. Right. Contact our office and the number to call there is 731-423-3020. Our health educators are going to be leading this program and we have LaKendria Mays and Alex McHugh. Uh, they're the health educators that will be you'll be working with. You'll sign up, you'll attend your four smoking cessation sessions. Okay. And then following that, after the completion of those sessions, that begins the monthly check-in. The monthly okay. check-ins. So and you guys are located where? For we people are located, who don't know. yes, 804 North Parkway. Uh, right here in Jackson, just right in the heart of Jackson. Um, and so you just call that number, uh, look up our website, you know, find the details there, but lots of ways to get in touch with us. So it's GIFs. It's GIFs. GIFs. Okay. And you know how the state loves their acronyms? Oh, yeah, right. that's okay. right. <laughs> so the smoking cessation, are those like one-hour classes or, or what are yes. Yes. sessions? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. and, and you'll probably do those one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, one -on -one. Right. So there's not so in a class. No, not it's not going to be a class with a group. Uh, the, it may work out that it is, right, but right. for the most part, we're going to try to do these one on one, one, -on -one. At, okay. your, at your convenience. But okay. you call the health educators, and they'll be able to give you all those okay. details about when you can get started. When you can get started. Okay. Awesome. I yes. know you're in the midst of the don't miss a shot. Yes, never yeah. miss a shot. That's right. And so children that need immunizations for school and everything else, you can get those at the health department. Get absolutely, health department. absolutely. We, we've seen our, our immunization rates for our kids kind of decline the past couple of years. We want to get that back up. Very important that we maintain that 95% level to keep our community free of some of these diseases yeah. like measles, polio, whooping stuff. cough. So uh, that's very important. So we've got that new campaign, Never Miss a Shot. Okay. And if you're a child that comes to get your immunizations here this summer, we've got a little gift for you. It's going to be a free little mini basketball. Free basketball, okay, that's good. right. Yeah, carry one around right now. Mm -hmm. Be sure good to, see you. Be Thank sure to you. visit the health department. We got some special notes, so stay with us uh, That's right. as we head toward it. And of course, Rita and Scott will be with us as we continue Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Do you love sports? Then you should know about STEM. Because maximizing nutrition, analyzing peak muscle performance, calculating the perfect shot, and more are all made possible by science, technology, engineering, and math. In fact, there are more careers than ever in sports science. So if you have a passion for sports, then think about getting involved in STEM and improve everyone's game on and off the field. Get inspired at SheCanSTEM.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org.
As always, we thank our guests for being with us. All the right. many things are many. going on in this community. We're glad to showcase those. We appreciate you being with us. And it's just a few of there, what's yeah, going on in going this on. community. And then, of, of course, you can follow us on YouTube as well right. and like us. And That's right. EplusTV6.com. You can always stream, our, uh, stream us live. And everything else going on. One note today, Ken Marston, who was at one time, among many things in his life, the, the board chair at the Jackson Energy Authority, has died. Left he this served life. on the board quite a few years, yes, quite he did. a few terms. Was a, and a great came, asset to uh, JEA. To Jackson with the, the Aaron Robinson the Dixie Network, radio and television network, and he was an asset to this community. Did public relations for the hospital, he I know, did. for many years, right. and just a distinguished gentleman. And that was posted today on the First Methodist website. And so, you know, we regret his passing and wish the best to his family. One other note, and that is Juneteenth is coming up That's next right. week on the 19th, and that is now a federal holiday, so the JA offices will be, will be closed, closed on the That's 19th. Right. So that will sure be middle of the week, and it will kind of catch us off guard for a while. We were talking about the Rockabillies. I'm scheduled, it's Blue Suede Night tonight at the Rockabillies. Oh. I'm scheduled to throw out the first pitch. Oh, oh I, I better go to the game. i, I got to see I, this. I, I haven't <laughs> thrown a baseball in uh, decades. <laughs> And so, do we need to go outside and well, start practicing? Somebody said, are, were you practicing? I said, no. I said, I, I was afraid I'd just throw my arm just trying to get ready. So <laughs> it's just going to... And just next gonna, week is Miss Volunteer America. Yes, the pageant is The pageant is, in town. is here. We have a national pageant starting And we're going to be broadcasting Wednesday. it on, on e Channel e 6, 6, 206 HD and eplustv6.com. We'll have contestants from, what, 50 states 50, plus the District 50, of Columbia. Yeah, that's right. 51 that's right. folks here. And so what a special, special thing. Always a big up. event for our city. And we're getting ready for an election in August. Advance vote starts July 12th, and that's one week from tomorrow, or one month from tomorrow. So it'll be here for decision you time. That's right. right. Here. We've been delighted to have these folks with us. Sure Always have. a pleasure to work with them. And Rita, of course, will be heading up the telethon coming up in August. She produces that entire thing. So here we go. And it's good to see you both. And we're going to let them close that's out right. this show. We'll see you next see you week, next good week. Lord willing. But right now, Scott Mayer and Rita Mack. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Another Saturday night and I ain't got nobody I got some money cause I just got paid How I wish I had someone to talk to I'm in an awful way Got in town a month ago I've seen a lot of girls since then If I can meet them I can get them Cause yeah I haven't met them That's why I'm in the shape I'm in Saturday night and I ain't got nobody I got some money cause I just got paid how I wish I had someone to talk to I'm in an awful way another fella told me he had a sister who looked just fine instead of being my deliverance she had a strange resemblance to the cat named Frankenstein Saturday night and I ain't got nobody I got some money cause I just got paid how I wish I had some chick to talk to I'm in an awful way another Saturday night and I ain't got nobody got some money cause I just got paid how I wish I had someone to talk to I'm in an awful way it's hard on a fella when he don't know his way around if I don't find me a honey to help me spend this money I'm gonna have to blow this town oh another Saturday night and I ain't got nobody I got some money cause I just got paid How I wish I had someone to talk to I'm in an awful way Oh yes, oh yes, another Saturday night And I ain't got